Well, we just finished November. Now we're into December and it's just as warm out there and still staying pretty warm this weekend. Temperatures likely back in the 80s most of Saturday and Sunday afternoons around the area. You may see the clouds start to increase a bit later Saturday and I think Saturday night and Sunday there could be a couple sprinkles or a very light rain shower in spots, but very little rain overall. I mean, we're talking, you know, total rainfall amounts in a few locations, maybe a, a tenth of an inch or less. So not looking for any big rain around, but maybe a couple sprinkles or again, a very light rain shower, mostly on Sunday. Next strong cold front coming in. It's getting a little eager to get here. We're bumping it up to late Tuesday now instead of early Wednesday morning. So maybe by you know, sunset on Tuesday or Tuesday evening, things could start to cool off here and get ready for a prolonged period of temperatures not in the 80s for a while. We can get to uh, keep it cool for a while. Dina loves that, right? Dina, yeah. Uh, Dina. yeah, she's all smiles and cheering. <laughs> 81 in Wesleco right now, 80 in Brownsville, 77 in Port Isabel. And temperatures eventually falling down through the 70s this evening and the 60s again late this evening and tonight. The winds are still fairly light coming in from the east and still with that moisture coming in off the Gulf and clear skies overall this evening. And it's possible you might see some fog form again late tonight in some areas, but you know, it's, it depends on where you are. Some spots will get some fog and some may not. But when you're outdoors this evening, though, fairly clear this evening, mostly clear skies, a few puffy clouds here and there, but generally a fairly clear evening as temperatures fall from the 70s into the 60s with the fog possible then later at night and then tomorrow morning. We're talking, you know, three, four, five o'clock in the morning when it could start to form. Satellite radar shows clear skies now. You notice we showed you earlier, there's some clouds offshore, the moisture flow coming back in, and also there's a disturbance, an upper level disturbance passing by to the north. These two things could link up and help increase the cloud cover and the very small chance for a shower over the weekend. Tonight, though, you see it clear in the evening, and then late tonight, again, maybe some fog or low clouds and spots toward morning, and then tomorrow, sun comes out, maybe, maybe mixed with a few more clouds at times, kind of a partly in a mostly sunny sky around. And tomorrow afternoon, there's 5 and 6 p.m. still, dry across the area, but notice you can kind of see the clouds coming back in from the southeast and future track does show by Sunday morning a couple sprinkles around or maybe a brief light rain shower in spots, but probably 80 or 90% of the, the valley will stay dry and then rainfall amounts, as I said, very, very, very small. And so Sunday afternoon, still a very small chance for a shower, but by Monday we're back into mainly dry weather and temperatures again back in the 80s. As far as rainfall amounts again, you see what the computer showing all the way through Sunday. No place is really above a tenth of an inch there, except for maybe near the coast. But, you know, very, very little rain coming from these clouds, if anything does fall. First 1570 forecast, well, still about four more days of warm weather. 84 tomorrow, 84 Sunday, 86 on Monday, and then Tuesday, depending on the speed of the front, it could start to drop late in the day or by evening. So we put a high of 83, but, you know, it's possible if you have plans Tuesday night or Tuesday evening, it could be much, much cooler and windy. Wednesday looks cooler, a high of 58. If the clouds are able to break up, though, we could bounce back into the 60s by Thursday and Friday if the clouds stay in a little bit cooler than that. But some colder days and nights are ahead next week. We'll track them in your first 1-5 forecast. Stay tuned.